Hello, welcome to your message. Thank you so much for joining me. Beloved, if you are keen or interested in booking me for reading, you'll find my email listed on the screen. I offer any and all kinds of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. Let us begin with your message and take a look at what God wants you to know, okay, at this time. So, um, beloved, today, today's message is not only very specific, but very much necessary, okay? Um, and this is because of its significance to your life. So what that means is today's message is, is us breaking down the narrative of a comic, okay? Breaking down the narrative of a comic, well known also as an ex-lover. We are going to be breaking down the significance of a comic the role of a comic in our lives so that we establish what we need to establish within ourselves so the message is quite clear okay there is unfinished business here and this unfinished business is unfinished because of what was written in the spiritual realm with regards to this connection okay so let's begin what is a comic beloved have you ever asked yourself that what is a comic we say it we speak on it we speak about it but what is it so a comic is what is known as a role okay in the spiritual realm, what we call a comic, they consider it to be a role that someone needs to play, okay? A role that someone needs to play. That is what is considered to be a comic. So with that being said, a role can only be assigned. It's different when you say, a person is it's a person they do what they want but a role is someone who is assigned to play a specific role for a specific purpose the role serves a purpose that's the whole point of the role which is the comic the comic is serving a purpose that's the role of the comic okay that is what they're meant to do in each and every one of our lives okay beloved so if you go on google and google the definition of what a comic means you'll find this google says a comic A comic is a sign of good or bad luck viewed as resulting from one's action. Viewed as resulting from one's action. So meaning a comic is a sign of good or bad luck. So when this comic is assigned to you, they come in a form of good or bad luck. Meaning the role that they have to play can either be a good one that's serving a good purpose, or it can be a bad one that's, uh, that's serving a bad purpose. That depends on why the role is assigned to begin with and also that depends on your actions so what that means is when your ancestors in counsel with god 
speak on your daily life experiences meaning your behavior on the earthly realm they negotiate who they want you to cross paths with and who they want you to be linked to comically for they know what experiences they have placed on both your hearts with regards to this connection that is meant to be that is meant to be because it is formed first in the spirit in the spiritual realm so your ancestors are saying that in council they speak on each and every one of our behaviors before they assign you a certain comic so before a certain person enters your life it is spoken about it is declared upon first and then it happens because you are of that rank in the spiritual realm okay beloved so this is to say that there is a specific comic whose role is unfulfilled in your life and that is considered to be something wrong in the spiritual realm because an unfulfilled comic role is wrong they assign this comic because they know what experiences you're going to get from it and what is it's going to get out of you what it's going to bring outside of you and what you're going to gain from it and how it's going to make you feel and where it's headed when where it was headed but to make life interesting, I feel as though God gave us free will. Because if he didn't give us free will, this world will, would be solely dominated by his, his word. We would have no authority. We would have no voice. So because he loves us the way he does, he gave us a voice. And our voice in this world is our free will. Our freedom of choice. Our freedom of choice, that's our free will. He granted us this because he wanted us to have a voice. He wanted us to feel good about experiencing this earthly realm, not obliged and stuck, you know, to something or someone or him. He wants you to enjoy co-creating this reality with him, okay? So he gave us free will and going back to the significance of free will in this comic connection specifically this person this comic of yours didn't fulfill the comic role and they didn't fulfill the comic role due to the choices they've made the choices that they've made okay beloved and this is to say that this person wronged you and they free will they free will with it they made that decision to do so they made the decision to wrong you using their free will so when this happens in the spiritual room it means as though it means that um the ancestors are acknowledging the fact that when this happens us we become we are held accountable in the spiritual realm okay because that is a false narrative we are formulating because of sin and how that works is when you get into a relationship with someone it's something that should be taken seriously because it is serious the reason you are where you are in life is because of the relationship you have with god relationships serve a role so this relationship this connection you shared with this person it didn't its role was unfulfilled in your life meaning this person's free will to wrong you deprived you of a necessary experience in your journey and this is why and this is why in council your ancestors and god have declared this to be wrong because there's a reason that we are all assigned to one another there's a reason we cross paths our awareness of the reason doesn't 
take away the reason itself. It still exists. We just don't know. Our knowing lies upon our intuition, trusting how we feel about the individual and allowing ourselves to surrender to the connection. This person didn't surrender to this connection. They withheld. And the reason they withheld, okay. Let's tap into it. Let's tap into the reasoning behind everything linked to this karmic connection. What is happening right now? What is happening at this time? We have the Knight of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. And the King of Swords, air sign energy, okay? So, these are two masculine energies, okay? This is to say that the current energy surrounding this connection is very masculine, okay? And it's in a masculine state of being because the feminine aspect of it has not been explored. The experiences that are linked to the feminine aspect have not been had between the both of you. And this is to say that the person whom is at fault is the one that is feeling it. Beloved, you could be the one feeling the loss of this karmic due to your false actions towards them, or it could be the total opposite. They could be feeling, they are feeling this loss because of the wrongful actions towards you beloved with the knights of cups there's a heavy flow of unexpressed feelings and emotions and this individual's unexpressed emotions and feelings they're beginning to haunt they're beginning to haunt them so what this means is both your ancestors and theirs came together in council and agreed upon a declaration to this person's karma for their false actions towards you. And that karma was a spirit that they had decided, decided and declared upon, a spirit that was going to be sent to this person and this spirit was meant to serve a specific role in this person's reality. It's meant to serve a specific role. The spirit that is being sent towards this person, okay? It's serving a specific role. So the spirit that has been declared upon by both your ancestors and theirs in council is the spirit of haunting, being haunted. The spirit of being haunted. The spirit of being haunted, okay? So this spirit with this king of swords is specifically tackling the heart space of this person. And their heart space is in this king of swords position. Very, they have neglected their heart space. This karmic spirit that has been sent upon this person, the role that it's meant to play is to assist this person's heart chakra but comically of course it's not going to be violets and roses because they place this upon themselves so they comically need to learn that so they never place themselves in this position so that this ne never has to happen again to anyone and to them too so this spirit is teaching this person that's the role teaching them about their heart chakra Enabling them to really tap into what they're running away from and what they've been running away from all these years. You. I'm being called to leave 
these alone okay they were not meant to be present so with that being said you are this spirit okay beloved this spirit has been sent in the form of you you are the karmic spirit that has been placed and sent upon this person's reality okay we have the ace of cups the three of cups So, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. Water element, water sign energy, heavily present at this time, as well as Taurus specifically with this Knight of Pentacles. But with that being said, this person, they feel as though they have allowed external forces, outside forces, to interfere with this connection. They feel like they feel like they are to blame. They feel like they are at fault. They feel like they are the reason why things went the way they did. It's like this spirit that is being sent and is being placed and has been placed and has been sent upon this person. The spirit of you, comically, by your ancestors and theirs. The role that it's serving is to teach this person how to love. Because they don't know how to love. See, going back to the significance of a comic. They're there to teach us. So that when we reach the rank and the vibration of receiving our true soulmate. We don't destroy it and lose the connection due to lack of experience, not knowing how to treat and handle a blessing. You need to be prepared for that so that you go through it, so that you are equipped. And comics serve the role to equip us they're not meant to hurt us they hurt us with a free will hence this is happening this person hurt you with their free will that was wrong that was a crime comically in the spiritual realm so now What is happening is this person, they're being taken down memory lane at this time. And what that is saying is this person is in this position because they not only need to learn how to love, they need to learn the significance of a comic role. The reason why this person took a loss, even in the spiritual realm, when they let you go and did you wrong, the loss came from the fact that they deprived themselves of experiencing you comically. Because God had placed upon a certain experience in both your lives so that when you cross something happens when you experience one another in the role that you pl were playing in each other's lives but this person wh what they did with their free will it turned that narrative that was written around because they made a bad choice and when you make a bad choice in the spiritual room it means that you've taken a loss a spiritual rank decrease happens so this person is being taken down memory lane 
and this memory lane is not a memory of events or experiences that you guys have shared but it's of memories and experiences you guys could have shared hence it's haunting they feel haunted at this time ten of pentacles this is virgo energy virgo rules the human body the human flesh the human skin so this person is experiencing paranormal activities in their vibration of thinking because they they might not be spiritually inclined as you are your ancestors are powerful and they present in this person's life karmically is creating i'm being called not to take these it's creating paranormal activities because the presence of your ancestors is that powerful they are highly ranked and this person's spiritual rank is very low they're in a low vibration due to their bad choices okay so that's what this ten of pentacles is saying okay um five of wands crowning the ten of pentacles so what this means is that this person is fighting what is happening okay they're fighting these paranormal activities they fighting not only that they fight they feel like they're fighting their demons because you know what these paranormal activities are beloved your so your your ancestors what they're doing is they're enabling this person to think back and what this is saying is that their state of being of thinking back is triggering the spirit because the spirit is feeling the loss of these experiences that this person missed out on because of their bad choices because they wronged you spiritually and in the reality in the earthly realm and in the spiritual realm you were wronged by this person so how they're experiencing the spirit of being haunted brought upon them by your ancestors and theirs comically is they're thinking back but they're not thinking back to memories that you guys had they're thinking back to memories you guys could have had so your ancestors are depicting um imageries visions prophetic visions in this person's um psyche enabling them to think hard about the comic loss and this is comic get when this happens they paying up comic get this has been assigned to happen to this person for seven months straight so this person is bound to the spirit for seven months it has been declared upon comically in the spiritual realm and now it has been placed upon them it was placed upon them on the first of november in the earthly realm okay seven months this person is meant to experience this comic spirit and is meant to learn from it too they're meant to understand what they've done to you okay two of swords libra energy so this person needs to understand their actions and stop acting and pretending because it's 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 judgment time now this person can no longer fight this run away from this ignore this try to move on from this and i'm seeing that they have with this ten of pentacles and the five of wands they've been doing unhealthy things okay in taking toxins substances okay They've adopted bad habits since you've lived. I'm getting the habits are about to worsen with this comic spirit. It's not here to play. It's here to do its job, comma, to serve comic justice. And with this two of swords, this person did not see this coming, man. 
it's like what that means is like they're in a state of being of shock at what is happening they cannot believe that they're experiencing this they never thought this would happen they thought this was something that they would forever bury in their heart space in their heart chakra going back to the fact that they their own ancestors don't like that they don't want this person to create that blockage within their heart because they also deserve to feel good things they just need to comically pay for the bad so that the good can come in and they owe you because they've done bad to you so they are paying up right now and with the two of swords your ancestors and their ancestors want this they want this person to take this lesson very seriously so these depictions and visions and prophetic dreams that this person is experiencing, they're very vivid, okay, with this judgment. They're very vivid. Like, very vivid. They and hence, it's haunting. They feel as though it's happening. So, beginning with the prophetic dreams, how your ancestors reach out, the first thing, prophetic dreams, okay? That's the first thing they do. They tap into this person's prophetic dreams okay they create this in this person's um sleep so they they place upon memories um that you and them had to experience together in this life and they be they 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 are so vivid that this person when the first time the first day which was the first of november the first day of your appearance in their dreams, they did not take that well, okay? They, they cried and they could not believe that they were crying. Like this person was in a state of shock at themselves and they were so guarded towards themselves. Like they started not trusting themselves. They started questioning what they thought they knew, all these things they thought they had figured out. They, Cause they did like, they like, what is happening to me? What, what was that? So what your ancestors did before this was declared upon, before the spirit was sent to this person, when it was being discussed, their ancestors spoke to your ancestors about this person's behavior and thoughts towards you. And they said that you deserve true justice, true justice. And with this two of swords, Libra energy is telling me that this is now what is happening that is a true justice that is being sent so when you when they when their ancestors told your ancestors that true justice needs to happen they basically in the spiritual realm realm gave your ancestors permit ancestors permission to tap into this person's reality however way they choose so they're not restricted to anything this person can't go to anyone or do anything or put anything on to prevent this from happening to them comically, it's true. It's just true, man. So with this two of swords, followed and crowned by the three of swords and the devil, it's saying that this person is feeling haunted, beloved. They are in a great deal of despair. They cannot take what is happening in their reality. So the first day you appeared in their dreams, how your ancestors had orchestrated that to happen with the permission of their ancestors, your ancestors, they allowed this person to be free of you in spirit, in mind, in soul, in heart, in body. And what that means is they allowed this person to feel like they've healed from you. They allowed this person to feel this way because they wanted that when they brought upon this spirit, it must really affect them because it's something they haven't felt in a long time. Because your ancestors took that away them being able to feel you it was taken away and that happening was to serve a purpose the purpose was the effect and the impact of the spirit the spirit was meant to have this type of impact 
the spirit that the spirit of haunting declared upon in your name to this person comically and with this three of swords when you appeared they it hit them beloved like they did not take it well this person did not take it well they woke up um from this okay I'll tell you what happened in the dream state. They dream state in a, in a moment. I'll tell you how you appeared, what you did, how it happened, okay? This happened, the prophetic dream happened in, at, the, at the 1st of November, okay? The 1st of November. Um, so this person, they woke up feeling very burdened at heart. At first, it was a wake. It was a wake of a state of panic that they felt was like a fire burning them for all the treacherous actions they had done. They started thinking back to all the negative actions towards you, negative thoughts, wrongful actions, wrongful thoughts. They started to, in that moment, panic because they felt as though it was all catching up to them. Bless me. So how you appeared in the dream state, beloved, let's tap into that. You, t you appeared in a form of an ace. An ace is a wish fulfillment. We have the ace of wands and the ace of cups, the ultimate wish fulfillment. The comic that was meant to be this person's first love, you were that for them. Hence, you were the one that was meant to teach them how to love because they don't know how to. And they are... Okay, so let's begin. So how you appeared as the one that was meant to be their first love, comically, spiritually assigned to this person as their comic to be them. We're gonna start with the Ace of Cups here. So you appeared as the Ace of Cups. The, the Ace of Cups is symbolic to um, emotional fulfillment. So you were meant to be the one to show this person the ropes so that on their path of life, when they stumble upon other comics after you for your relationship was only temporary due to the role, just the role. When it was established that you both had to play the role, their ancestors chose you because they knew how you were going to be the one to fulfill them. They know what they placed upon you and they know they knew how it was going to impact this person. But what I'm getting is this person never got to fully discover that. And they needed that for their path. And what this is saying is they don't know how to love, beloved, and this is wrong. They can't exist within this likeness because what vibration are they on? That means they're walking around as a, a painful memory in so many people's lives because of their actions towards others. They don't know how to love. They don't know how to treat people with respect, integrity, grace, all things they were supposed to experience with you so that they carry this on in their journey. But because they lack this experience, they are hurting people right now in their life that is why the spirit that is the reason of the spirit because comically how else is this person supposed to learn because the way they were supposed to learn initially with their free will they destroyed that now they have to deal with the consequences and the spirit that has been declared upon them and your name is the consequence 
So when you showed up, you there's the Ace of Cups that showed up twice here. So when you showed up in this Ace of Cups energy in this person's dream state, you didn't only bring upon your presence, you brought upon emotion. You activated something within them. So what this is saying is they fell for you all over again. Mm. They fell for you all over again. Everything that they thought they didn't need, they began, they began to miss, they began to crave. And when they thought of it for just a second, everything that was linked to that, the, those cravings, those yearnings was linked to you too. So when they fell for you all over again, they didn't, they didn't fall in the, in the reality, in the earthly realm. They fell for you all over again in the spiritual realm. Their spirit is unfulfilled, beloved, because it didn't experience you. And so wands. So with this wands energy, there was a sexual encounter that was meant to be had between you and this person. This sexual, account, this sexual encounter was going to bring you both wisdom that was going to come out after the deed has been done and it was going to come out of you guys in the spiritual realm because when you enter the body of a comic, you're entering your comic Akashic Records. So you are going to experience this sexual encounter as a lesson for it was going to be that for you it was going to teach you due to what it was going to tap you into where you were going to be led with it together emphasis on that key word together this person went against that do you understand how powerful and how wrong that is They missed out here, plain and simple, on something great, something significant that was meant to translate the narrative of how they perceive a woman, how they perceive a man. They were going to walk away having the experience of how it was like to experience a divine feminine, a divine masculine. And they took that for granted. So, of course, they need to learn the lesson of that. They deprive themselves of this connection due to their false actions. They shouldn't have wronged you. It's like, what this is saying is, there's two narratives. There's a narrative of you guys having sexual encounters and there's a, a a narrative of you and this person never experiencing this before so it's either you've experienced this comic sexu sexually or you haven't those are the two narratives so we're going to start with the first one if you haven't experienced them sexually the spirit that has been placed upon them has been sent to serve the role, okay? The role that is the experience that you guys should have shared. So these prophetic dreams are of the scorpion energy for we are in Scorpio season. They came through with that energy because Scorpio rules intimacy, okay? The act of intimacy, the act of sexual intercourse. So Scorpio has to... Do what Scorpio does. So in these prophetic dreams, this person felt you in that manner, in that, in that vibration. 
And if you've experienced this person sexually with the second narrative, how they experienced you in the dream was in a form of something that was incomplete. So as much as you have had sexual encounters, there was one encounter that was meant to happen in specific, in specific sexual encounter. It was supposed to be a spiritual one, but the season of it had not hit and the relationship ended before the season. Hence, it's, they felt incomplete in the dream state, okay? So let's move on. We have the genie in the bottle. And with this genie in a bottle energy, When you appeared, okay, you activated not only their love for you in the spiritual realm, but their desire. So this was the work of your ancestors, okay, to bring justice towards this situation and to bring you closure too with this star. So something is being orchestrated here with this genie in a bottle and the star. Something is being divinely orchestrated because the genie in a bottle is God's presence and the star is Aquarian energy, okay? Hmm. Aquarian rules, Capricorn rules the energy of the, uh, Capricorn rules karma, um, Aquarian rules the energy of the karmic, okay? So, this divine orchestration is linked to something that is meant to happen. It's fated due to the significance of what it's meant to do and activate within the both of you. Meaning with this Ace of Swords, you and this person were meant to bump into each other again. Quote, unquote, bump. So this is my divine orchestration card, okay? Ace of Swords is the mastermind. Okay, Ace of Swords is a plan, a strategy. It's, it's a blueprint towards a greater plan, a greater depiction, a bigger picture. So God is allowing your ancestors to orchestrate this encounter. You're going to meet this person again, beloved. It's a pentacle and this meet up is going to be very significant. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. This is going to be life changing for the both of you. Because of what is, what this encounter is going to activate. Okay, the world and the emperor. This encounter is going to activate a certain portal. One which will close in your world and reality and open in theirs. And this is the portal of transgression, okay? Meaning that this person is meant to not only experience you as a comic, but you, in, it was faded, okay? In the ethers, in the spiritual realm, it was faded that you were the one that was meant to be their first and true love. They first. You were meant to be the one that opens up this portal for them to feel this type of love in the earthly realm. You were the one that was meant to play that role. And you were willing. That's why you don't have any karma of negativity Jew, this is all happening in your favor expect nothing but bliss from this experience but just know the impact and influence and purpose it's serving in this person's life is comic it's not going to be of your vibration it's not going to happen the way it's going to happen for you it's not going to feel the way it's going to feel okay for you this person is going to have a totally different experience because it's comically true it's debt they owe you they owe they are owing this in the spiritual realm because this was something that you, their ancestors declared upon with yours. And they went against that. And that is wrong. They need to be taught that lesson. So they mean to see they want true love and understand that they can never have them back. That is the karma. Okay. I mean, cool to end it here. That was your reading. That was your message, okay? Really hope you heard me and that this helped you, beloved. If you're keen or interested in booking me for reading, you'll find my email listed on the screen. I offer any and all kinds of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions via FaceTime, video call, Zoom call, as well as Skype. 
and the types of readings I offer are ancestral messages, prophetic as well as intuitive um, messages and readings. Um, and lastly, I offer love readings and spiritual path readings as well. I'm thankful and appreciative and grateful for your time. I value you and I love you so much. I'm sending you love, healing, and comfort. Until next time, bye.